uh, most of our campus and uh, let's start with the conference room we have got here. So this is our conference room which is being used by the students uh, for the activities if in case they want to have some group meetings so all those things are done here with the students. So like if you are making a project and you guys are like 5 to 10 students who are in a project and you want to meet together you can use this room yes. and you can make your projects over here as well. Exactly. So now I'm going to show you the other parts of the campus. These are actually the study spaces if the students want to do the individual studies so they can actually book one of those places and they can study in quiet space. That's an amazing thing because I have not seen this uh, facility in other schools. Uh, can you show this to the students? Yeah. That you have an individual room and you can book it uh, with the staff and you can use it for your personal usage you if you want to you know spend individual time on your project and you want to do your assignment alone you need in drop silence you can use it and you can you know uh, sit over here do your assignment do your job and this this is kind of a good facility yeah, yeah. and how many uh, rooms we have like this we have actually multiple rooms uh, we have somewhere around i think five to ten rooms for students who mm -hmm. they can book mm -hmm. uh, the part of just i showed you it's mm -hmm. actually full of those kind of rooms so mm -hmm. students just have to go to the reception mm -hmm. uh, ask the reception which rooms are available if they are available immediately they can just give them the space if not they'll let them know the next availability and they can book it in advance okay. so we have group rooms we have individual rooms as well so as per your usage you can book it with yeah. the reception yeah let's go ahead So guys, we have lockers over here as well, which will be uh, for you guys. Uh, I think there will be some uh, bit of a fees, uh, but you can have these lockers. It is uh, one of a facility which most of the schools provide in Canada. You can keep your stuff over here because when it is winter, you guys are carrying two shoes. One is your snow boot and you have another shoe as well. So you can keep your stuff over here when you have a uh, this kind of facility in your locker room. And this is one of our activity area because uh, we also teach films, filming program and audio video. So sometimes it happens students have to do a filming project with, which requires a lot of large space. Mm -hmm. So students can actually do their activities like acting classes and those kind of things. They can actually conduct here. So these are some of the large spaces we have got there. That's, that's a huge space you guys even can play over here. <laughs> And here we have got a central classroom. Um, we have actually kept the class sizes really, really small because of two reasons. One is the learning outcome is better when the class size is small. And second is actually COVID. So you can see the space between the two students. Because of COVID, they have to be a little apart from each other. And the faculty member sits there and they study in this kind of environment. So guys, uh, we are maintaining a good distance and we are all always following all the protocols for your safety purposes and right now we are obviously maintaining it and with the current rules we have to maintain it whenever you are coming as per the rules we will obviously adjust ourselves And from here, um, our student activity and recreational area starts. So if the students want to have fun, talk to their classmates, sit around, chill, eat their lunch. So we have some space out here for them like to put their lunches, microwaves and other things out there. And then we have some more space out there. So this is the student lounge, a proper student lounge. If they want to study, sure, they can study. If they don't want to study, want to have fun with their friends, they can come here and sit. So this is a large space for students. And we have the classes on the side as well. You can see we have multiple classes here. So Rohit, this is our another student lounge. You can see we have a lot of space for the students to sit and hang out with their friends and the classmates. And on the side, we also have classrooms uh, where students will be studying here. 
Okay, so this is another sitting area. So we will be sitting over here with our friends and uh, you can hang out. Then on the corners we have classrooms as well. So just be sure that you don't make much of the noise yes, and exactly. the professor will come out and you know, he will say that you have, have negative yeah, marks. For yeah, sure. you, you will be, uh, you, there will be negative marking for that. And just, we are just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no worries about that. Yeah, so campus is so big and many classes are here. Uh, many sitting areas, recreational areas and other uh, facilities are here obviously and we have shown you another classrooms as well. The rest of the uh, of the campus you have to come over here and you have to look by yourself instead of us showing them all to you. Okay, great. So right now I'm going to introduce you to some of our team members here on the campus. So the most important person on the campus could be the financial aid officer. So we have the financial aid officer here. Hi. And then we have uh, Rasha. She is our associate director. Hey, Rasha. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Charbez. Thank you. And here we have uh, Nina. She's a registrar and she's been with us for the last 20 plus years. So she's been with us for a really, really long time. Hi. Here you can see we have uh, our faculty member teaching the students and you can see how comfortable the students are and they're sitting, sure. they're relaxed. Then we have got some locker space here as well. If in case students want to use the locker facilities, they want to leave some stuff here. Maybe they want to go for shopping because the Crescent Street is just behind, sorry, the St. Catherine is just behind us. So if they want to leave their bags and some winter shoes and other things, they can leave it here. They can go for shopping and then they can come back again. Or maybe they're just going out to buy some lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. So guys, these are the lockers. Uh, as you can see, you can keep your stuff over here. You can hang your coat. You can put your books, you can put your shoes over here and then you can lock it with your lock and you can go anywhere. And we have this. So this is another uh, recreational area where uh, you can spend your time, you can have your snacks over here, you can have your lunch over here, you can spend some time over here. We have free Wi-Fi in the campus, you can use Wi-Fi as well but don't use uh, phone when you are studying for sure. Yeah. And if you see just behind there, we have the Meghal station. So, if in case you want to take the metro, you just come and it's the next block. So, not even two minutes from here, the Meghal station is. Okay, and even the view is so fantastic over here. See the buildings and all. And uh, we are at the main street, main downtown area. Uh, within two minutes or three minutes walk, you have all the Indian restaurants, all the Chinese, uh, Cantonese, Italian, whatever you like, we have it in Montreal as this is a multicultural city. So we have a video on Montreal, so you can see that video, the links are below. And like I was saying that we are next to St. Catherine, so if you pass this block, mm -hmm. on the next side is actually St. Catherine, Hudson Bay is just behind this, so if in case you want to have really good time between your lectures, just go out and explore the city. This is actually one of the best places. Eden Center is also here. Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, just behind here. Yeah, just behind yeah. here. Yeah. So Eden Center is like the center of the city. Uh, that's the one of the biggest mall in Montreal. And you can go there, you can do shopping and you can have your you can buy your lunch from there as well. And I'm gonna also show you a quick glimpse of our Place de Arts. Um, so this is actually the place you can see that white building it's just a couple of minutes walk from here where all the events and concerts happen so especially on in the summertime and on the weekends you will see a lot of things happening around the city and you can also see the concerts happening recently we actually hosted the jazz festival after the covid so covid was there last year we didn't do it but this year we hosted the jazz festival here mm -hmm. so jazz festival is the one of the biggest festival for music lovers and as you will be studying in Trebas who teaches you music, you will be obviously enjoying uh, the scenic view and the, and the good festivals which are uh, hosted over here every year uh, in the streets of Montreal. It is just five minutes walk from here. 
So now I'm going to introduce you to one of our alumni. Uh, her name is Stephanie. She recently graduated uh, from Prabhas and now she's working with us. Hi Stephanie, how are you? Hi, I'm very good, thank you, how are you? I'm good. So Stephanie, how was your experience studying in Trebas Institute as a student? My experience here was simply amazing. Uh, honestly, I, it, despite having gone through the pandemic mm -hmm. <laughs> with my studies, um, I, I simply had a great, great experience. Teachers are so available, uh, they're resourceful, supportive, and uh, I enjoyed the institute so much that I'm back to work here. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank so, Stephanie is uh, working in Trebas Institute right now. So, uh, she was alumni. She has studied over here. She has received her diplomas and she is already employed. Thank you. <laughs>